Maniacs, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another fan mail unboxing. It is a package from my good friend Jason Dominguez. He's been a subscriber and a patron for a long while. He's a big supporter and he sent me a couple of movies, it sounds like, from his own personal collection, or at least that's what he told me. You never have to send me anything from your personal collection. I mean, if it's your personal collection, I always recommend just keeping it for yourself because that's that's, a, that's your collection, right? So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this thing, give you guys my opinions about the movies he sent me. I'm pretty excited to see what he's gotten me. And I just woke up not too long ago. I know it's like four in the afternoon. I was up very late last night doing a lot of cool stuff, filming mostly. Um, wow, there's a lot of movies in here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out one at a time. The first one up we got is a movie called, oh, you know what? People have recommended this to me. Serial Mom. And it's a Scream Factory. Wow, you didn't have to send me a Scream Factory, man. Oh, I feel bad, dude, if this is from your personal collection. But you didn't have to send me this. That is very kind of you. People have been recommending this one to me for a long while. This is the Collector's Edition with Kathleen Turner, a John Waters film. I haven't seen too many John Waters movies, so that is a hell of a start, man. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. Next Up next, we got... Ah, oh, dude, a Stephen King movie. The Dead Zone. I've never seen The Dead Zone. It looks like it has Christopher Walken, though. Wow, you sent me some- you did not have to send me Scream Factory stuff, and you didn't even just send this, like, normal Blu-ray, you sent the slip covers- covers with him, too. He can see the future, but can he escape it? Mm -hmm. Movies I've never seen. Movies I just have never seen, and I- oh my gosh, dude, I'm- I'm struck. I'm struck! Jeez, man, you still got four more in here, I'm feeling them out right now, you got four more movies in here. Good God, what is this? Oh, a David Cronenberg movie! This is a creepy looking cover, look at this! The Brood. I know that's not focusing as much as I wanted to, I do apologize, but it's a... I think this is the Criterion, yeah, Criterion Collection. Oh, it comes- oh my gosh, it comes with a poster. I'm almost, like, worried to actually unfold this on camera because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it back. This is a weird looking poster, man. I'm... Look at this. That is some weird shit. You did not have to go this far for me, man. I appreciate it. Especially to where you know that I haven't gotten to your other movies yet. And It's like, dude, I, I really... I have no words, man. I really should have... You, you wanted me to unbox, unbox this early, but I really feel like I should have saved this for my birthday, dude. It would have been a hell of a, a video. But there's The Brood. Okay, now we have the movie The Brood, a David Cronenberg movie. I don't know anything about any of these. I haven't watched any of them. A disturbed, a disturbed woman is receiving a radical form of psychi uh, psychotherapy at a remote, mysterious institute. Meanwhile, her five-year-old daughter, under the care of her uh, estranged husband, is being terrorized by a group of demonic beings. Sold. I, I, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, what's next? I'm gonna let the camera look at this one first. What do we got? What do we got? Well, I've heard of the Sentinel. She was young, she was beautiful, she was next. Oh boy, this sounds like a cult movie. Without question, one of the best horror movies of the 70s. Well, that's that's awesome to hear. I, I, I literally, I haven't seen any of these. You know me, you must know me pretty well because I have not seen any of these movies. Who's all in this movie? Chris Sarandon's in this movie. Well, that's that sold me already. Another horror film? You gotta love it. Okay, this is the last one, guys. Ah, another, I have heard. I actually have her here. You know, I'm going to feel like a dumbass if there was a note in here. There was no note in here. I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless. Uh, oh my gosh, dude. Burnt Offerings. I, I have heard of most of these movies. I've never seen them all, any of them. This is a really cool cover. I like the cover of this. Why, I don't know why I'm getting like Amityville horror vibes by looking at the cover of Burnt Offerings. A sprawling country mansion for the entire summer, but as they settle into their isolated estate with their son and Ben's aunt... They find themselves surrounded by an evil hypnotic living presence that feeds on torch and tortures, fear and murder. The stellar cast includes Burgess Meredith. Okay. Burnt Offerings. Okay. Okay, that is a collection of movies right there, man. That is a collection of movies if I've ever seen one right here. You didn't again, the fact that you sent this from your personal collection to me, and the fact that some of these are Scream Factory with even slipcovers on them. I mean, I'm I'm surprised I know you sent me a message saying that you'd buy them again or you'd get them again, but like, dude, I like you didn't have to do that, man. That is a level of generosity. 
And, you know, I'm always down to build up my, my horror Blu-ray collection. Because I have a horror Blu-ray collection now, mainly built by you guys, because you've sent so many to me. And I, I think he said he's going to send me more by my birthday. Which, guys, if you want to send me anything for my birthday live stream, P.O. Box information is down below. I will unbox everything on July 2nd at, I want to say, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're going to send me anything, now would be the time to do it. It would get here, and I'll put it over there in the corner. The reason why I unbox this early is because he told me he wanted me to unbox it early. And he said, uh, his, my birthday is a completely different subject. So I'm like, okay, man, I'll go ahead and unbox it. But man, I really feel like that would have been cool to unbox my birthday. Uh, thank you so much, Jason. I appreciate you, man.